without really even mentioning it. Oh! That door is my only way out, but I need to lure this monster away as far as possible. I need to place a valve here. Okay. So let's go over here. Oh, oh this is better. Thanks for the gun, bro. I appreciate the ammo. Huh. He was probably gonna shoot himself. He was probably shoot himself. Ow! Oh, hey! It's a head hand. I'm afraid of monsters. Doing here? You're in the wrong game, buddy. Mm, that looks like a dead end. Whoa! Hey, bro. How you doing? Michael Myers, what are you doing up there? Get down from there. Whoa! Hey. Oh, saw runner. That's the thing that you can get out of the cage. Hmm. Yeah. About that, I highly doubt that. Oh, hey, bro. Let me just uh take care of you with a shotgun. Like such. Uh, three bullets. I'm really low on Glock ammunition, so I'm probably gonna have to start meleeing things soon. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this done in one session, as this, this campaign, like I said, is kind of long, especially near the end. So, I don't know. Hey, it's a bell. Now, in the mod version... Ow! That, Jesus, boop! Now, in the mod version, the bell was actually Stefano. If you watch PewDiePie, you know who Stefano is. Well, the older stuff, because he doesn't really... Why did they change it? Okay, well, I can kind of see why they changed it because having a YouTuber, you know, references in the game that's going to be standalone released on Steam would be kind of silly, in my opinion. So I guess that's why they took it out. I don't know. Well, I got, we got the valve, and I ran because the saw running broke free, unsurprisingly. So I'm going to go put this valve in the slot and do a little bit of ring around the rosy with this big baby. Big baby man. You're not walking around in water, or are you like have incredibly wet feet? It might be one or the other. Clever. Go through here. Check out my dog. All right. Chapter six. The V. <laughs> Vivina or Vivina? I'm not sure. The game is laughing at me. Now this is when it starts getting weird, because I believe this part, there are clowns. Yeah, clowns. They're basically just a reskin of the fast of the clowns. It's still kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Shooting clowns is like some person's, you know, relief of being shot by clowns. I'm not really scared of them, I just, they just kind of weird me out, you know? I don't really understand it. That's just me, though. I, I don't know about everybody. Shotgun is definitely coming in handy here. There's an M16 assault rifle. Okay, yeah, I might take that. Yeah, I love this gun. I love this gun so much. Makes me. <laughs> Hello! The map's laughing at me again. I didn't get too scared though, so you know, I won the map. I should go uh, almost fucking map. Jesus, that is a lot of clowns! Oh my Christ! Back up! Back your back up, back up, back up. Personal space. Personal space. Ugh, what's going on? It's my head. Oh, it's these legs getting into your brains. Kill all the enemies to advance. Huh! We're suddenly in Metal Gear. What? Metal Gear Solid. Chapter 7, Nalo Flex. This is one of the, once again, we're still in weird territory, but this is one of the <laughs> the cooler ones, because they reskin all the slowers to look like uh, the guards from Metal Gear. So. I never played Metal Gear personally, but I've seen, I've watched the playthrough of it on YouTube. It's a pretty nice game. 
kill all enemies to advance. I really like the idea of this. And I got a P345 mag, so okay. Oh yeah, we're using the P345 here. Which we only got to use in the uh, ending of Cry here against the Doctor. So you can kind of see how strong it is here against the normal Michael Myers Twitchers. in between the Taurus and the Glock in terms of power. Alright, we have a map of the area and a save. Alright. Now this they give you a save here for good reason as there's an intriguing one here where there's giant taller jars. Yeah. I know, pretty weird, but hey, what can you do? Ammo spread everywhere so you can deal with them. Now, I don't know if you can fall off here per se, but I, I imagine you probably can. So be careful. I'm having a bit of concentrate here because I gotta watch my movement and watch all of their movement. There's a lot of them. Okay, one down. One down. His handgun is fairly strong, but it, you know it's not overpowered. So. Now, if these guys hit me, I have near low health, so they might actually just one hit kill me instead of just stunning me. So I'm not too sure. All right, number one down. We got one more to go. Let's click down over there. Hey. Is it all a dream? What is going on anyway? Have I been here all this time? Time is running out for you, David's David crossed out Simon. Yeah, we're back in Afraid of Monsters lingo. Chapter 8, Volcometer. Now this is easily the longest part of it, but is also the really cool part of it. Now, if you've played Afraid of Monsters, you know what to expect here. I've played it myself, but I haven't actually beat it yet. But I've played it. I've played it with uh, Zach on Spent Co-op as well, so... Alright. Wrong way! Oh, turn around, there's more puzzles! My nightmare, especially if it was portal-like puzzles. Because then I would die. Speaking of Portal, I have no idea if I should do a Let's Play of Portal because I'm not going to play Death's Gross. Oh, this is plays of Portal. Because I, I'm really bad at Portal. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I suck at Portal. And most of the footage would just be me being confused. I don't think that'd be very fun to watch. So, I might not do those games. There is one, but only one exit. Not here, not here, not here. Don't know if that's intentional or not. I can't see. Uh, hello? Oh dear. I think something. What was that? I don't know what happened. Everything's red. I can't see anything. Okay. Hmm. How did I get here? Oh boy. This 
look familiar, folks? Uh, if you played a Fred of Monsters, you'll know where we are. We're in the Marklin Hospital. So basically, most of Volcomator's chapter is doing the first part of Afraid of Monsters. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But at the same time, block seems to be broken. Now, I've played it, I've played this part a couple times, like in Afraid of Monsters, so basically you know how to play it in Afraid of Monsters, you know what you're gonna do here. Because typically, uh, before I played AOM, I got very lost in this. A lot of this. What the hell was that? A lot of the. I. What was that thing? I don't remember that being there. Oh dear. Uh, that's slightly worrying. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you go back here. And it is dark and dank. I need a flashlight. Perception G key. Okay. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of walking around a bit slowly, because I honestly, this is the part I barely remember in this, so I'm more than likely to get spooked a few times. Okay, nothing. What the heck is that about? It won't open. Well, poop. More some paintings. Nothing down there. Block up down there. Uh, what? And, oh, I mean, that's cool and all, but that's really kind of disturbing. Block mag. I have a feeling I missed a gun somewhere. Something going in here. I cannot see anything in here. Okay. Ah, finally, light. Oh, okay. Now the window busted open so we can continue moving on through here. I'm, I'm, I'm much happier that I can see now. Now, like I said, if you know where to that's a pretty long way down. I'd be careful. I'd be better be careful to not slip. This plank here will break. Yep, just like an AOM. Ugh. Now, to climb to the roof, I believe you get ammunition and health. But I don't have a gun. But if I find a gun, I'll have the extra ammo, so I might as well check. Right. Climb up here. Ugh. Okay. Now, if you've played AOM, you you definitely see there's a lot of changes up here, because the roof up here looks a lot more like an actual roof than just a kind of flat rectangle. I wonder what those X's stand for. It's basically where the ammo is on the roof. There's no other points to the roof other than you know, where you need to go next and to get ammo. The lock is busted. Alright, so... Drop. Yonder, not there. Ugh. If I remember correct, oh, I see where we're gonna go. Hold on a minute. I went the wrong way. I was backtracking. When you climb up to the roof here, you need to climb up here again. Sorry about that, folks. I kind of forgot where I was going. Forgive me, darlings. Now we'll drop here. Okay. Around here. Hey, here we go. There's that bustable window I was looking for. Mouse pad. Loading Reception HQ. Okay. Dear janitor, I'm having a problem with some of the lights. Could you please turn off the electricity for a short while so I can fix it? You got the strange key. A bloody key where I found with that letter. I wonder where I can use this. Reception H. Looks like the key to reception H lobby doors. Here's the reception H key. Open it up. Now the strange key goes to the, uh, the, I believe it goes to the basement area. Once again, interesting paintings. Oh. Interesting, we had to use the key twice. Ha, <laughs> you again. Alright, cafeteria, yeah, you go to the cafeteria, 